Welcome back, science lovers. In this video, we're looking at the National Geographic Science Magic Kit. As usual, the National Geographic Kit is very well organized. There's an experiment guide, which we'll come back to in a moment. And then everything is well packaged inside. Let's see exactly what we've got. One magic wand, a measuring beaker, three plastic cups, gloves, but no safety goggles in this kit. Two metal discs, which double as pennies. Three cardboard cups. A jar of hydrophobic sand. jar of instant snow, sodium polyacrylate, some more chemicals, red cabbage powder, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and citric acid, and finally a pipette and three total different sized measuring spoons. There are 10 experiments in the experiment guide. Not many, but bear in mind this kit only costs $17. It's laid out in a form very similar to the other National Geographic instruction manuals. One thing I'm not keen about is that the first two experiments are exactly the same as in their Amazing Reactions kit, which I reviewed before. Probably a link to it up in the top of the screen here. But the other eight experiments seem to be original, and we'll try a couple of them in a moment. In this experiment, we need a beaker of water, a clear cup, the sodium polyacrylate, and a large measuring spoon. Now I'm using the experiment tray from the National Geographic Amazing Reactions box. Note that this tray does not come with this kit. So first we're gonna add two large spoons of the sodium polyacrylate to the clear beaker. And you can see why I'm using the tray, because I always make a mess. Then we're supposed to Quickly dump this powder into the beaker of water and see what happens. Here it goes. Well, look at that. It's absorbed most of the water. I don't know whether you can see that. And turned it into like a snow type foam. Snow. Just made snow. Apparently this is how filmmakers make snow because it has the advantage that it doesn't melt under the hot lights. Interesting. For this experiment, 
We need the hydrophobic sound, beaker of water, and a pipette. First of all, we're going to make a pile of sand. Like so. Now this is magic sand. So we're going to make a crater in this magic sand with the wand. Abracadabra. And now let's see what happens to the water when we add it drop by drop to the middle of this sand. Now with normal sand, you'd expect the water to seep into it and make a nice soggy sand. But this is magic sand. And as you can see, the water is simply making very large water bubble in the middle of the sand. And not mixing with the sand at all. Voila! Magic! I can put the water back in the beaker and you can see the water is perfectly coming away leaving very little, if any, of the sand wet. So that was the Magic Science Kit from National Geographic. Should you buy this kit? Let me give you my review numbers and then I'll have a few comments. Components I give a 5 out of 5. National Geographic is always very good at presentation and the quality of their components. Experiments, I give it three. As I mentioned, two of them are repeat, and there's only ten experiments in this kit. Uh, some of them are fun, others are not so much. Science, I give it two. There really isn't much in the instruction manual to explain the principles behind the experiments. Something you could fill in by doing your own research, I guess. Value for money, 3.5. It's worth buying if this is your first kit or you want to experiment to see what these kits are like. Uh, and bear in mind it only costs $17 off of Amazon. And there's a link in the description below if you want to buy it. If you're used to other high quality STEM kits, you might want to give this one a pass. It's aged 8 plus and it's fun, but it's definitely not the best kit out there. So if you like what I'm doing with this channel and you like my reviews, please subscribe, please leave a like. I'd be very appreciative of that. And stand by for some more STEM kit reviews. Upcoming, I've got a great one with a micro bit electronics and computer programming. And later, I'll be doing some robotic ones. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video and have great fun with your science.